Hello. It's that time. It's time we went on vacation. Today, me, Magda, Sophia are going to Centre Parks at Sherwood Forest in Nottinghamshire. I've always wanted to go to Centre Parks. I don't know why. Since I was a kid, there was just a thing like Centre Parks. How cool to go to Centre Parks. But as you grow up and you see the price of this place, like it's it's pretty expensive. We got a cheap Monday to Friday break because it's term time. Obviously, Sophia's not at school yet, so we thought we'd give it a bash. So join us for a week, or Monday to Friday. Buy Kaya, swimming, all that good stuff. Let's go to Centre Parks. So it's got a visitor. Who is it, so? Ah! <laughs> you got a goose at the door. Canadian geese, I think. Go, go, go. They've come to see you. Let's go say hello to the geese. Good morning. Welcome to Centre Box. We stayed the night here. I didn't film anything yesterday. We, we literally got here about half three. We got stuck in traffic. The queues to check in were crazy ridiculous. The car parking was horrendous. But eventually we got to the lodge. We unpacked the stuff. Uh, we went and parked the car right down at the main car park, which is probably a 15 minute walk, something like that. So we did that and then we dropped into Cafe Rouge and had dinner last night, me, Magda, Sophia. And then we ended up back here after an, a long ass walk. And this morning we're up, we slept here, Soph's here. We've already made a mess of the place. I will do a tour of this uh, lodge at some point, but this morning we are heading to the bike centre where we have to pick up a couple of bikes. I haven't ridden a bike for probably, I don't know, maybe close to 30 years probably. And Magda hasn't ridden a bike for a while, but we've got two mountain bikes. One's got a seat on the back for a little sofa, so that should be interesting. There she is causing trouble. Get off. So that's our plan for this morning. We're going to walk there without a push chair. Probably going to take us about 40 minutes and then grab our bikes, bike back here and then plan the rest of our day. So yeah, and you'll probably hear that noise in the background of most of the videos. So let's crack on. Let's go get some bikes. So, if you got another visitor. Hi. What's his name? Hi. 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 Hello, hi. <laughs> so, we got the bikes, as you can see back there. But we're not using them right now. I was going to. But you forgot how to bike. Yeah, I was going to record the bike back from the bike centre to our lodge, but wait. I, when the lady gave us the bikes at the thing, like I sat on it and I just, I, my, <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't even remember how to ride a bike. It was awful. Like, I put my foot on one pedal and then I was pushing it along like scooting. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, I've got to put both feet on and balance. Ooh. And then we just biked back, but it, it was cool in the end. But it hurt my legs after a bit. It was a bit raining as well. Yeah, it was. It was raining and our hands were freezing. I had gloves on and my hands were freezing. Magda didn't. But she's tougher than me, obviously. But We're now heading into the village centre. Just to go around a couple of the little stores there. They've got like a toy shop and a gifty kind of thing. And yeah, 
more walking than ever. A robin. I think one really nice thing is that the wildlife that are coming up to the door of the lodge. We've had geese, squirrels, I think more hens. I haven't seen any deers yet, but yeah. I brought a chest mount like for the GoPro, but I forgot to take the GoPro to pick up the bikes and then when we got there I had my phone but if you think I'm doing one-handed on a bike you got another thing coming man there's no way I could have recorded any of that with two hands and two feet on pedals I was barely stable it was terrifying we made it we're now heading to the village centre walk around a few shops and then we'll go back to the lodge to cook some dinner Look at this. Day what? It's Wednesday. We've just got up. We barely did any filming yesterday. We did a hell of a lot of bike riding. I will have to tell you the story of the fishing, but for now, I'm making a cup of tea. <sighs> yeah. Fishing story. Did I say fishing? <laughs> <laughs> I meant swimming. <laughs> See? I don't know what I'm on about. Get in the menu. <laughs> What are you having? <coughs> We're walking. It's chilly. It is a Wednesday morning now. We are going to take you out for a bike ride later. We did so much cycling yesterday. Like 40 minutes I think, cycling. Loads of walking, but other than that, we tried to go swimming. We was in the swimming building for less than, I think it was 47 minutes. We got in there, got changed. Soph weren't happy, she was already moaning. We got into the pool, it was packed, loud. And so started screaming as soon as we touched the water. <laughs> So we sat in it for about three minutes and then had to get out. Like Soph was having none of it. So then we went back to the changing rooms, got changed and went out. So yeah, we've been swimming, but I spent longer in the shower. chopper out somewhere it's freezing we've just been to Bella Italia for lunch it was all right now we're getting some steps into burn it off trying to find the baby owls Magda wants to see them you can't look 
we just stopped for some token images with the phone box in the background we're still walking back by the way it's freezing my face is frozen we're heading back Safe's on foot now so it takes even longer <laughs> Safe. Safe. Let's go. Let's go, we're gonna call Baba. I think these are a bit bigger, Come on then. Possibly. Bye bye. Bye bye. problem is is that everywhere looks the same we're heading back to our lodge and it could be anywhere <laughs> it just so happens that we know where it is it's around this corner I think so we're back we've had a good morning actually it's been quite nice went around some shops again Bought a couple of fridge magnets. I always like to buy a fridge magnet wherever we go. A bit sad, but that's what I do. Bella Italia, I had lasagna. Magda had bolognese. Soph had three cheese pasta. Garlic bread was nice. It was alright, but I tell you that one of the waitresses was very moody. And it took quite a while to take our order. Like, well, when I say quite a while, it was probably like 15 minutes maybe. Which is always a bit of a an issue with me. I'll tell you one thing that I hate about restaurants anywhere is when you have to wait to be seated. Like, that's just a thing. I don't know whether it's, like, anxiety that causes an issue for that. But waiting to be seated. I'd rather just go in and pick my own seat. So it's always a bit awkward. And they all, they today, the whole place was empty. There was one family at one table. And the lady wanted to sit us next to them. Like right on the table next to them. Uh -huh. But I'd like a bit of peace. But I don't know why they do that. If anybody's a waitress or owns a restaurant, why do they do that? Why do they sit us next to the table? Is it so they only have to go there? Like when they're bringing food or whatever, they can do everything without having to walk round? That's what I thought, maybe. So yeah, we're going to chill out for a bit now. And then it's bike ride time. I will get some footage today. I'll put the GoPro on the chest mount and we'll see how that comes out. But yeah, time for a break. It's a swimming. Hello? <laughs> you didn't sleep, did you? You were just playing a bolina. We made it. That was good. I don't know how much of the biking footage I'll put in because it's probably crap for the viewer. But it's nice. I'm tempted to get a bike when we get home. But we need a trailer. So, how was it? <laughs> <laughs> Five minute power nap. We're going in, we're going to order some food. In a minute. This is it. Centre Parks. Lodge Pine. 674. Let's get us in. 
that's how you do it. Wristband. Telling you in the door. And you're greeted by a small child. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show people around. You've got a cloak room. This is a toilet here. This room is a toilet. That's like a storage room. There's a high chair and cot and all sorts, cleaning stuff. Into the dining area. Chalkboard. Gorgeous woman. Don't know who she is, but she walks around doing things, cleaning and cooking. Yeah. Living area with a cool uh, thingy -ma jig. What's it called? I don't know. A picture. It looks like you're outside. I called my dad yesterday and he thought I was outside through the trees. Nice view. You've got your own patio set. Barbecue, the lake is just through there. Nice kitchen, all the facilities. Soph, you happy with it? <laughs> we have to buy Soph a duck today. Soph, get your duck. Get your duck. Show them. What, what noise does the duck make? What does he say? What? Okay, he doesn't say that, but kitchen's cool, fully stocked, chalkboard, I drew that, bloody brilliant, oven, microwave up here, wine fridge, there is wine there, dishwasher, there's the dishwasher, <laughs> toaster, crisps, it's cool. It's nice. Let's have a quick look in this room. You might notice something. If you work at Centre Parks, I apologise. <laughs> we uh, There's usually two beds in here. It's a twin room. <laughs> but it's nice. TV on the wall. Bathroom. Overhead shower. The water didn't get very hot. There's me, big fella. Our swimming stuff. Let's go. We're doing a room tour, so if you gotta hurry up, come on. Follow me, so follow me. So you come out of there, and then you got another bedroom, which has a massive bed in. <laughs> We basically brought this single bed in out of there because Soph doesn't sleep in her own room yet. Usually we've got, at home, we've got a cot next to the bed. Obviously we haven't here, so we thought we would bring one of those single beds in. It's perfect. So, like, it, it's really cool in here. Soph, are you happy with it? Soph, are you happy with that? Ish. So, yeah. This is the master bedroom. Usually it's just a double bed in the middle. I will put it all back, centre parks, before we clock out on Friday. So yeah, that's pretty much the tour of the place. It's nice, it's comfortable. The heating's good, I think. Nice and warm. Yeah, nice and warm. We've just ordered from Restaurant Runner. Basically, you've got a choice of Chinese, Indian, or pizza. We've just ordered some Chinese food. It's being delivered here. And then tomorrow, well, we've got plans for tomorrow morning. We've been on our bike ride. I'll see you in the morning, probably. In fact, no, we'll tell you how the Chinese food is first. And then, early nights, because we've got an early start in the morning. Food's arrived. We got sticky rice, egg fried jasmine rice, chicken curry, sweet sticky chili beef, duck and hoisin spring rolls, and I got some masala fries from the Indian thing. It's cool. You can mix and match all your gear. Let's get it plated up and we'll let you know how it tastes. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> Here we go. Sticky chili beef, masala fries, sticky rice. 
chicken curry, egg fried rice, a bit of beef, mm. some fries. The lady says yes. The kid says... Yum, yum. Jumper. <laughs> In a bizzle. Chinese is done. You do alright? The best part was the sticky beef. It was quite nice, yeah. Not too fond of the spring rolls. Would you not? Mm, not great. But the curry was alright, but it was, the chicken was shredded and that I've mean, got a bit of a thing with that. So, how was the mashed rice, peas, chips, sausage and chocolate? <laughs> all good. Cake all day long. Ah! Yeah. That's it from us this evening. We're going to wash up, tidy up, relax. Tomorrow we're up early, we're out. You'll see where. So we just parked the bikes up for our morning activity. It's 10 to 10. And in 10 minutes we've got to be somewhere. So we're just walking into the village centre at Centre Parks. And I'll show you when we get there. We are yes, in a cabana in Centre Park. So we get it for three hours. It's our own private little room in the swimming complex, the subtropical paradise or whatever it is. Soph's over there watching Peppa Pig. Mummy, you get safe. We can order food directly to here. We get towels, free soft drinks. It's just to try and get Soph in here without feeling overwhelmed. She was squealing as we walked through. You have to walk through the whole swimming thing to get here. But we did it. We've got a little pool just here. So we're going to try and get her in that and we'll see what happens. <laughs> but we went swimming. Well, we tried to. We went in this little pool just here. She didn't like it. So we thought we'd go to Adventure Cove, which is for kids. It's just like water fountains and like that deep water. She didn't like it. So we thought we'll go in the big pool then. She didn't like it. So. <laughs> We decided that we were going to eat something here. We've ordered like a cheeseburger. So it's got some fries and nuggets. Mummy's got a chicken wrap. We're going to eat that, and then hopefully the bunch of people that are in the pool will be out of the pool here, and we'll go in and try and get some footage without her screaming. It's not going to be easy. Is it? <laughs> Okay, food's arrived. Cheeseburger. Fries, nuggets, chicken wrap, sauces. So happy for a minute. Maybe she looks knackered. It's because she's been stressed out. You've been stressing out, ain't you? This is the life. Just chilling. We've got 40 minutes left in here. Magda's just took us over to Adventure Cove again. So we've just been in this pool for like 10, 15 minutes and so far's alright. Ready? <laughs> oh, 
the finally all in back to the bikes back to the lodge I think have a rest for a bit tidy up a bit then we've got to think about what we're gonna have for dinner and yeah that was good I'll talk more about it when we get back to the lodge because there's less people in the lodge a bit less embarrassing There's the bike park, there's our bikes, and so trailer. We'll cycle home and I'll fill you in about the cabana hire when we get back. So's favourite bit. You ready mate? How is it in there, so? <laughs> <laughs> Already. <laughs> we can see ya. So we're cycling. I've gone from not being able to cycle to being able to cycle one-handed. Now I'm not getting cocky or anything. But I could fall off at any moment. You see what I'm saying about Everywhere looking so similar. Like you drive around these roads, especially at night, when we were looking for our lodge, I think it was the second night, we got lost. We had no idea. But I think we know it by now. But we've got to take the bikes back today. Because we don't want to do that in the morning. Because there'll be a queue, no doubt. Oh, oh. It's not exactly a flat park either. This pulls my legs. Bearing in mind I am rather unfit. <laughs> I don't get that many steps in when I'm sitting at my computer all day. Unless I'm nipping to the fridge. <sighs> it's done me good. The only problem is, the negative, is that we've been eating crap all week. And we've been on a bit of a healthy eating spurt lately. So, back to it when we get home. And this is us. How was your journey, madam? Five star travel, that is. 
just gotta lock the lights up okay. and get us in the house. Magda struggles with this. It's not be fun to watch. Oh! I'll lock up and see you in a minute. Bye, Sarah. Bye bye. So, we hired the cabana. We swam for a bit, not a lot. So, towards the end, started to enjoy being in the water, which was nice. I think we need to do that more. We need to go when we get home, we need to go swimming again. Because she's been once before, back in, in Tamworth, where we live, and she enjoyed it. We was in there for like an hour and she loved it, but she hated it the first time we went the other day. We thought it was maybe because she was tired, but then when we first got there today again, she was she had the same reaction. She absolutely hated being in there. And it wasn't because there were so many people, because by the cabana we had a, a whirlpool, big pool, and there was nobody else in there when we first got there. We went in it and she hated it then. By the end, like after two and a half hours, she was all right. And we were going in and out of the pool. I got that bit of footage. I couldn't record anything in the place because it's just a bit, you know, there's kids running around and people half dressed. So I didn't want to obviously carry the camera around the pool and that. So you'll have to search online like the Centre Parks videos, promo videos and that. I've got footage of the pool and that. But it was cool in there. I did enjoy it. The food was good in there. That was probably the best food I've had so far. The burger that I had. Out of all of the restaurants that we've eaten at. We've had a Chinese here. We've had Bella Italia. Cafe Rouge. And then we had that. I can't remember what the place was called. But it was inside the pool area. I think we're having an Indian tonight. Shortly we're going to take the bikes back to the bike centre. Which is right the other way the other side of the park, it's probably going to take us 10-15 minutes to cycle there. We're hoping we can fit the pushchair in the back of the trailer. Otherwise we've got to walk back from the cycle centre back to here without a pushchair. That'll be a nightmare. It'll probably be morning by the time we get back. So that's the plan for tonight. And then we're maybe going to stop off and get an Indian takeaway. Or we may eat in there, depending on how many people are there. So... Yeah, I'll keep you posted, but we've got another bike ride coming up to the cycle centre, drop off the bikes, hand them back in, and then walk back slowly, maybe stop off for food, or maybe get back here and order the food and get it dropped off, because we've got to tidy up as well. So we want to get up in the morning, load the car, and get out of here. This is our final bike ride of our Centre Parks experience. As we take back the bikes that we thought we wouldn't really use when we picked them up on Monday. And I forgot how to ride a bike, essentially. Didn't think we'd use them that much, but we have used them way more than planned. It's been fun. We managed to get the push chair in the back. So we haven't got to walk back with Soph on foot. She can go in the push chair. Thank goodness. Not long now. I think the cycle centre's up here. Loads of work going on, getting ready for the summer season. I mean, to be fair, it's all been in good condition. The lodge has been nice. Everything's been great. No complaints, apart from the price of things, I guess, but you expect that. There are 
hundreds if not thousands of bikes in there. Ooh, that's the bike dropped off. Now we've got all that long ass walk. But we're gonna go through the village centre one last time. Magda wants a drink from Starbucks. And then head home. I think we're gonna get takeaway. Magda. Yeah. How did you enjoy the cycle? It was brilliant. <laughs> I loved it. When we picked them up though on Tuesday morning we were like not we're sure about this. Yeah we said we'll just we'll probably end up just taking them straight back or not using them at all until Thursday. But when we realised Soph was enjoying it. Yeah, she loved it. And I never thought you were so sporty, ways. <laughs> sporty? How many times do I moan over? Oh, babes, my legs. Yeah, but you still did it. Yeah, we did it. It was good. So we've just left the cycle centre. We're going past guest services. And then sports. Jardin. Over there, we did have a walk around it. We didn't go to Aquasana. Magda wanted to, but she wasn't allowed. I think no, we, I think we might come back. Yeah, hundred percent, I would. If you would ask me on Tuesday, I would tell you probably not. Yeah, yeah, I, and you know I was the same because we both thought. We ain't gonna enjoy this. There's nothing to do. And then, lo and behold, we had a great bloody time. A lot of walking, which is good. We like doing that. Yeah, I do. No, I do. Since when? Since we've been here. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had no bloody choice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss the car? Nah, not at all. I was a bit sceptical about that, leaving the car so far away, with it being my old safe place, but I haven't even thought about it. Just hope it's still there. But we'll find out in the morning. What? So we walked through the village square. The Indian place isn't open till half four. It's only five past now and we walked past it ages ago. So we're gonna go home and we're gonna order it and get it delivered to the lodge. But we were just talking about how much we've actually enjoyed yeah. our Monday to Friday break here. If you'd have asked us the question, not that you're asking us now, we're just telling you anyway. But if we'd have, answered this on Monday we'd have both said in fact I think we both said that we'd we never, never come in here again, yeah. we'd never come here again but we've both just said that we've actually really enjoyed it <laughs> and we would I think we would come again I think we will you know she thinks we will we'd like to bring Magda's mom with us because she enjoys walking and cycling I don't think my dad could handle it here unless he can hire a golf cart although if there's a big big ass trailer for him and then <laughs> drag him around you are. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah it's been surprisingly really enjoyable even if we did get lost and the service in the restaurants has been a bit slapdash especially Bell Bella Italia yeah that was pretty pants. Or well, one of the waitresses was yeah, anyway. The other one was good. Rude. Yeah. I think we offended her because we walked in and we went to look for our own table. Because there was literally no one in there. Yeah, it was, there was one family sitting down at a table and the rest of the place was empty. So we were just like, okay, we'll sit here in peace. And then she came over, she was like, you looking for a table? 
and then she sat us right next to the other <laughs> bloody family. But she wasn't really nice, was she? No. But other than that, it's been most enjoyable. And we're just heading back now. Order some food and rest. I'm going to have to stop recording because my arm's going to drop off. We need to pack. We need to pack. And so sad enough. <laughs> Butter chicken, garlic naan, onion bhajis, chili chicken balti, masala fries, pilo rice, so <coughs> vegetable korma, so Scott, with some mashed potatoes. <coughs> on Our last meal here at Centre Parks. I'll let you know. Okay, we've finished. Review. <laughs> How was your korma? You don't know, do you? Because Babes, you haven't eaten. How was your butter chicken? <laughs> it wasn't great. But none of the food that we've had while we've been here has been incredible. We've said that if we do come again, we'll maybe go to a different centre parks somewhere else in the country and we'll do a lot more cooking ourselves. Because it's expensive and it's not fantastic. But we've learned. Exactly, when you've got a master chef there and then you've got chief taster who only makes that noise. Right. Eat yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it for this evening. We're gonna wrap it up here. We will see you in the morning, no doubt. We've got packing to do, cleaning to do, and we're out of here by ten. I'll see you in the morning. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. So, say no night. So, this is it. Look how soaked I am. We literally just had to walk from here to the car park to get the car. And it's the first time it's been peeing it down. So we're all drenched. But now we're gonna load the car and then head off. But yeah, it's been a really good week. Super enjoyable. Thank you if you managed to get this far into the video. Oh no, it's been a bit all over the gaff, mostly walking bit of cycling but yeah i wanted to enjoy the experience and we definitely have so yeah i'll see you in the next one whenever that may be yes boys somebody else dropped me can you watch me miss oh. yes boys <laughs> Yeah.